but... Oh, there's glue on the back of this chair. Now I'm stuck too. Silly boy. This is all very exciting. It's not that exciting. I've been on loads of trains. Norman. Well, we're looking forward to it, aren't we, Mandy? Oh, yes, Mum. Look, here comes Mr Griffiths now. Climb aboard, ladies. And Norman. Come on, Nipper. You can wait in the garden until I get back. of tea. I've left it inside. Brakes on. It'll only take me a second. I can hear an emergency coming in. We have to get to the office. <laughs> well, don't just sit there, Trillington. Tear it off and read it out. What? What? It's Gareth, up at the train station. The Ponty Pandy Flyer's gone off without him, and there's a whole carriage load of passengers on board. The microphone, quick! Hold it up in front of my face. Oh. Ah. Uh. Uh. Sam, Tom, we have a serious runaway train situation. Rendezvous at the station immediately. I repeat, immediately. Hello there, man. You're on that train. Don't worry, Mike. We'll stop it in time. Boring old trees. Boring old grass. Ugh. Don't be such a grump. This is fun. <gasps> Nipper? What's that, my treasure? Nipper is driving the train, ma'am. Stop being silly, Norman. Well, look for yourself, then. Start scooping out the water. I'll radio for help. Light a flare, Charlie. Well, sir, not as busy as we thought today after all. No, sir. We've even got time for a nice cup of tea. <coughs> oh, well, looks like I spoke too soon. Oh, more trouble on Charlie's boat, and Neptune's drifted off. Oh, I say. Sam, take Mercury and the pump to the quay, and I'll radio Tom Thomas to meet you there with the helicopter. Yes, sir. Oh, I knew Norman Price at sea would mean a busy day. Start pumping the water out of the boat. I'll go and get Neptune. Now. Dawn, 
think, Dice. I had a sneaking suspicion you might cause some mischief out there today. But it wasn't me! No. It was me. I'm so sorry. You? Dillis? You, you mean it? Not Norman? I just wanted to help a Norman catch a fish. Oh, it wasn't Norman who... Oh, uh, sorry, Norman. Oh, I didn't even catch one fish, so I won't get my fishing badge now. Don't worry, Norman. As soon as my boat is fixed, I'll take you out again. Hooray! This time, we'll leave your mum at home. <laughs> Push, Derek! Harder! That's strange. No sweets left. But Halloween night's just started. How can we go trick or treating if there aren't any sweets? Oh, there must be some somewhere. Dillis, we've got a little problem. I don't suppose you've got any spare sweets in the shop. Three whole boxes? That's <laughs> wonderful, Dillis. We'll be right along. <laughs> I've got every sweet in Ponty Pandy. Uh, we got them, you mean? Oh, uh, yeah. Uh, just a chew. Yeah. To the shop! Sweet! What's going on? Oh, hello, Norman. What a Halloween! All the sweets in Pondy Pandy are gone! Oh, uh, really? But it's all right. There are three whole boxes back at the shop. You can have some too if you like. Some? I want them all! Can't you get there first, Derek? Give us a push, a really big one. Oh, okay, Norman. Oh, oh, I've had enough of this. Careful, Norman. I'd better call my brother. Call Fireman Sam. Hooray! Hooray! <laughs> what was that, Elvis? <laughs> I did it! <laughs> Brilliant, Elvis. I uh, don't suppose I could have a turn, could I? Norman Price and his go-kart have ended up in the sea. Hasn't that happened before? She's still not holding. We're going to need more wood, eh? It worked! My plan worked! I bet I see it before everyone else. Oh, Granddad, are you going to collect more passengers? I will, Sarah. What a splendid day this is. Sounded like. I, uh, uh, I, uh... See? Sarah's putrefied. She knows the sun 
arms of the monster. James! <gasps> oh, no! There's a radio transmitter inside the center. Call Fireman Sam. Okay, everyone, try to stay calm. Fireman Sam will be here in your time. Standing in the middle of the lake with a potty pandiness monster lurking below. <gasps> A group of potty pandy citizens are standing in the middle of the lake with a monster on the Those words mean. But don't you listen, Jupiter. Sam, do you think you could go and practice your speech somewhere else where Jupiter can't hear you? Oh, <laughs> sorry, Elvis, of course. But I'm sure that Jupiter knows how important she is in our eyes. Oh, I'll get this off, Jupiter. Don't you worry. Here they all come. Hey, Mum! What do you think of the decorations? They look wonderful. Well done, you two. She really is quite something. Oh, I haven't seen one of these since I were a lad. Look, Lily, it's a steam train. Smoke! No, Lily, it's steam. Smoke! Did someone say smoke? If the water tower falls, it'll crush the train. Stand back, everyone! Oh, cool, man, it's up! A fire at the new railway station? There's a fire at the new railway station! Now keep calm! The weight of the water in that tower will be very heavy and it could collapse at any moment. Elvis, spray water at the base of the tower. Penny, drive Venus up to the front of the train. Roger that, Sam. Everyone, stay with me, you two. Now drive, Penny! Penny pulled her out of the way just in time. Thank you, little Lily. If it wasn't for her, we wouldn't have seen the fire. Sam, if the train is okay, can we still have the opening ride then, Grandad? I'm afraid not, James. There isn't enough water in the tank yet. Oh, well, oh, never mind. mind. Oh, isn't oh, that never a pity? Mind. It looks like the only way is. I've got it, Sam. I've got it. What about the time you rescued Dolly from the training tower? 
But that was just a practice, Elvis. Nothing brave about that. Firefighter Morris! <gasps> I've just read the bit where Moose climbed Ice Mountain with three toothpicks in a bottle top. Burn! And he did it all by himself. I know. What a brave, brave chap. If only I could remember some of Sam's really brave rescues. Oh, dear. I really wish I hadn't done this. Now what am I going to do? That was a close one, eh? Thank you, Moose. I was in real danger then. I think we still are, Mandy. What? Well, I could climb down from here no problem. But it would be too dangerous to take you as well. Oh, no! Well, it's time to go. I wonder where Mandy's got to. Mandy? Mandy Flood? Uh, she said she wanted to climb Ponty Pandy Mountain, Mrs. Chen. <gasps> Maybe she's gone up there. Oh, dear. I think we'd better call Fireman Sam. I'll head back to Ponty Pandy to pick him up. <laughs> Mandy Flood is missing on Ponty Pandy Mountain. Mandy Flood is missing on Ponty Pandy Mountain. <laughs> <laughs> I think the twins might have got lost in the snow. Right. Let's call Fireman Sam. Oh, what a marvellous conception. <laughs> oh, an emergency. James and Sarah are missing in the snow. James and Sarah are missing in the snow. This is just the job for Saturn. Sam, you take Mercury. Penny and Elvis, you go in Venus with Saturn. Keep in radio contact. <laughs> Any sign, Elvis? Not yet, Sam. Wait, what's that? That could be them, but there's three of them. Ah. I've got them. There's a cave in the woods 100 meters east from where you are. Now, right you are, Elvis. James, Sarah. Here, Uncle Sam. Don't worry. I'll have you out in no time. Sam, 
did you find us? Ooh, is it a UFO? No, it's a special camera that uses heat to find people. Wow! Teddy, Elvis, Saturn's found them. Everyone's safe and sound. Uncle Sam. <laughs> I'm fine. You look just like a man. <laughs> the fire. Stand back. If there's any gas left inside, they could explode. I got a fire extinguisher in the center, Sam. That'll be no good for this fire, Moose. We've got to get those canisters cool and fast. We need to radio the station now. Gas canisters on a log fire at the Mountain Activity Center. Behind some rocks. Those canisters could explode at any moment. Okay, Sam. Firefighter Murray, Bridlington. What are you doing here? We've got an emergency at the Mountain Activity Centre, sir. We'll have to take firefighting equipment up on the Ponty Pandy Flyer. But it's already up at the centre, Penny. Oh no! What are we going to do? <gasps> I know just the thing. Say hello to Bessie! <laughs> oh dear. Come on, girl. Don't let me down now, Bessie. Now, well, Bessie, let's show them what you can do. Come on! That's okay, Moose. But next time you move those canisters, make sure your campfire is out first. I will, Sam. Well, well done, old girl. Oh, uh, yes, just having a little. <laughs> you know, sir, I think Bessie's going to make an excellent addition to our team. You do? Yes, sir. There's just one thing we need to do first. Who? Oh? If I could just start this all, it would make me a legend! The biggest catch in the history of Ponty Party! No, no. Ah! It's, it's all right, kids. I'm going to let the net go. Uh oh The winch is stuck. And the engine's flooded. What are we going to do now? Just fine. But I think it's time to call Liam and Sam. Charlie Jones' boat is sinking. It's your brother, Sam. He's out at sea and he's in trouble. Come on, Elvis. Let's go.
glad everybody is okay. But I do wish I could have brought in those fish. Why don't we bring them in together, Charlie? <laughs> Great fisherman, Charlie. But you still haven't fixed that tap. <laughs> Oops. I forgot about the tap. Come on, I'll help you. <laughs> Here you go, Trevor. They're nice. Oh, thanks, Norman. <laughs> the bus! We're on a lake. And the fire has made the ice crack. Get back, everyone! Get back! My precious picture of Norman was on that bus. Now we have nowhere to shelter and no fire. If Moose doesn't get help soon, we're in big trouble. Emergency! A uh, bus has gone up the road and we need help fast. Great tangled hoses! Trevor's bus has gone off the road! Trevor's bus is in trouble! The passengers need our help! When's someone coming to rescue us, Dad? Very soon. Listen! They're coming! It's Fireman Sam! Canvas, make sure everyone is a safe distance away! Penny, you'll be ready in Jupiter. Everybody stand by. Activating wind. Penny, you might need to back up to help the wind. Thank you, Sam. Now, let's get some tea on and make sure everybody's nice and warm. Trevor, you saved it. Eh? Save what? My lovely picture. You knew how precious it was to me. Oh, Trevor, you're a real hero. I'd hate it to lose this. It's Norman as a baby. With no clothes on. <laughs> 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 I have to say, Moose, well done for going out in that blizzard to fetch help. That was very plucky. Hey, what can I say, Trevor? Plucky is my middle name. I hope Station Officer Steele isn't too angry about the sheep. Wish me luck. Station Officer Steele, sir. About those sheep. No, oh, wonderful animals. They can stay here as long as they like. Keeping my tootsies lovely and warm. Yes. <laughs> Find me, Bronwyn. Uh, Let's try downstairs. Not here. Or here. There he is, behind the freezer. Uh, let's move it away from the wall. Uh, I'll just unplug it. Oh, he's gone down that hole. He must be under the floor. Oh, dear. I think we're going to need more equipment. So, that's the Jaws of Life checked, and the loud halo. And the fibre optic camera. Hmm. Those might be useful, too. What's all this, Elvis? Ah. You stand with the loud tailor and call Norris's name. He might come and find you. Norris! Uh, now, the fibre optic thingy. I think I remember how to use it. Uh, I've watched Sam, haven't I? 
There's a little camera on the end of that wire. Look. Oh, I feed the wire down this hole, and whatever the camera sees under the floorboards, I see on this screen. <laughs> oh, it's dark down there, isn't it? Yes. Oh, gracious! What is going on? Oh, it's all right. I found him. <clears throat> the jaws of life. <laughs> Let's get those floorboards up quick. I hope you're going to tidy up when you finish, Elvis. Hello? Billington, where are you? You're meant to be helping with the equipment check. Um, and several items of equipment appear to be missing. Ah, well, uh, I borrowed them. Uh, I'm just at the whole fish cafe. Back in a moor, sir. Why would anyone take a thermal image camera, a loud hailer, and a fiber optic camera to a cafe? Billington? Oh, uh, hello, station officer Steele. <laughs> Hello, Sam. Uh, sorry, it's a bit of a mess. My cafe's been turned upside down. And we still haven't found Norris. <laughs> What's that? Haven't found what? Firefighter Cridlington. Well, Station Officer Guinea Pig. That I mean, Station Officer Steel. We were trying to find a Station Officer... Like, I mean, a guinea pig. A guinea pig? You don't need all this equipment to carry out a simple guinea pig rescue. Oh, dear, dear. For that job, a firefighter needs one thing only, and I'll be back with it shortly. There you are. How are you two getting on? Nearly done, Brandon. Excellent. Won't be long before the first passengers arrive. <laughs> Nice and hot and ready to go. Oh, no. A bit of bunting has come down. I'll go tell Grandad. No, we can do it. You hold the ladder. I can't reach it. I need to get higher. Careful, James. Whoa. James! <laughs> There you go, James. I'm sorry, Grandad. I should have asked for your help. Don't worry, James. You stay there. I'll fix this. <laughs> oh, I'm so sorry, Jupiter. This uh, marvellous new addition to the vehicles of Ponty Pandy... Oh, uh, not sure marvellous is enough, Sam. What about magnificent or brilliantly resplendent? Oh, no, I've got it. Gloriously majestic. Uh, well, thank you, uh, but those words seem a little fancy for me, sir. I don't even know what those words mean. But don't you listen, Jupiter. Sam, do you think you could go and practice your speech somewhere else where Jupiter can't hear you? Oh, <laughs> sorry, Elvis, of course. But I'm sure that Jupiter knows how important she is in our eyes. Oh, I'll get this off, Jupiter. Don't you worry. Well, here they all come. Hey, Mum! What do you think of the decorations? They look wonderful. Well done, you two. She really is quite something. I haven't seen one of these since I were a lad. Look, Lily, it's a steam train. Smoke! No, Lily, it's steam. Smoke! Did someone say smoke? There's a fire! Oh, no. If the water tower falls, it'll crush the train. Stand back, everyone! Oh, cold fire in sand! A fire at the new railway station? There's a fire at the new railway station. Right, now keep calm. The weight of the water. If you're stuck, give him a shout. He'll be there to help you out So move aside, make way for Fireman Sam Cause he's gonna save the day